Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we will be going over a few advanced tactics for building, turtling, and countering turtling. It's coming right now. The first trick that I want to go over is fairly simple and becoming more popular in the community. It is a new way to counter turtling and take people's walls. Here's a clip of it being used. Even though I'm not fighting a real enemy and it's just a sentry and creative, I can still get the wall up really fast after it has been destroyed. What I am doing is holding down the right trigger to pickaxe the wall and then just pressing B. Since the right trigger is the same button that I used to place the wall, the wall builds almost immediately after I press B. What a lot of players would do instead in this situation is press the right trigger to pickaxe the wall, let go of the right trigger, press B, then press the right trigger again to place their wall. Doing the new method will save you some time and that's why it's important to hold down the right trigger instead of just pressing it twice. The second trick that I want to show you is for when someone is breaking into your box. If the enemy is focused on taking your wall, then you can easily do a side jump out of the box and take the high ground. The unsuspecting enemy that is trying to take your wall will most likely be surprised when one moment they are trying to get into your box and the next they are dead from your shotgun. This might take a bit of practice to get down because personally I'm not very good at side jumps, but it can be a lifesaver in some scenarios. The third trick that I want to show you is one to stop people from landing on top of your one by one. All you have to do is edit your wall piece as shown on the screen now, then place it on the top of your one by one as shown now. When the enemy comes gliding in to land on you, they won't be able to build and will be susceptible to other enemies' attacks. This will confuse them and probably allow you to edit them down and either shotgun them or spike trap them. That just about wraps it up for this video, and if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any more Fortnite tips that you'd like me to feature in one of the next videos, please comment it down below. And as always, thanks for watching.